This video is on fluid motion and to see what fluid motion looks like. I've got my ship here and if I hit the right arrow key it moves smooth and when I let go of the arrow key it stops moving. So right and left that makes the fluid motion happen. You can do this with any key but I'm going to be using the right and left arrow key. Okay so for my move right, I'm going to create two global variables, one for the loop that makes it move to the right and one for the loop that makes it move to the left. So I've got these two global variables, right loop and left loop. What I'm going to do when I press the right arrow key, I'm going to try to cancel the left loop. And when I say try, it's because if I haven't moved left yet, the left loop won't exist. So what I'm going to do is just try to cancel the left loop. And if it's possible, it will cancel it. And then I'm going to move my ship to the right 10 pixels. So this will then, so I'm going to cancel the left loop to stop it from moving to the left. I'm going to move the ship to the right. And then I'm going to create a right loop. And so what my right loop does, it says after 10 milliseconds, I'm going to call the move right function again. So then it's going to call this move right function again, which moves the ship 10 pixels to the right. And then it's going to call it again, which move the sh moves the ship 10 pixels to the right. So that's what creates this fluid motion. This loop right here, after 10 milliseconds, this is saying, keep moving the ship to the right 10 pixels over and over and over again, infinitely, until we eventually cancel this right loop. This lambda here, that means this is a, a way to call a function inside of this dot after. So this is a way we call this move right function and pass the event into it. Okay, now we're going to accept. So if we try to cancel the left loop, but it doesn't exist yet, we're going to accept that name error and then move the ship to the right and create a, a right loop. So this is saying, if the left loop does exist, cancel it and move the ship to the right. If the left loop doesn't yet exist, move it to the right anyway. Okay, now here, if I want to stop that right movement, I'm going to say this is the, I'm going to use that global right loop and I'm going to cancel the right loop. So that means I'm going to cancel this dot after so it doesn't continue going over and over again. And then I have the same kind of function for my left loop. For the move left, I try to cancel the right loop because I want to move left now, so I want to stop it from moving to the right. So I'm going to try to cancel that right loop. Then I'm going to move my ship to the left. After 10 seconds, I'll call the move left function again, and that will continue that fluid motion. To stop it from moving left, I will cancel the left loop. So now, to make all that happen, I have two different types of key bind. So here, if I press the left key, the left arrow, it calls that left, move left function, and that's what makes it move continuously. If I press the right arrow, it calls the move right. If I lift up on the right arrow, so if I release the right arrow, that's this one here. If I release that right arrow, it calls the stop right function, which cancels that right loop. And then if I release the left arrow key, it calls the stop left function, which cancels the left loop. So that was kind of a lot, but that's for right and left, and you can do the same thing for up and down. And you don't have to use the right and left arrow keys. You can use WASD if you wish. I just chose right and left arrows.